How does a sequential transmission work? Let's untangle in this video. As the name suggests, in sequential transmission, the gear shifting is done in a fixed sequence, which means shifting in any consecutive gear is possible, but skipping gears as manual is not. The interesting thing to note here is that the gear shifts take place just by rotating one shaft, and just by rotating it at different angles, you can obtain different speed ratios. The sequential transmission is similar to manual transmission, the only difference is of the operating mechanism. This has all forks mounted on single shaft, while in manual there is only one fork per shaft, requiring multiple shafts for multiple gears. The sequential transmission has one more shaft, which does the work of shifting gears. The shaft has grooves on it, designed in a special way. The selector forks have pins on it, which mesh in these grooves. In neutral, all the forks are perfectly in center and not engaging any of the gears. The gear engagement is done by rotating the shaft at certain angle. As the shaft rotates, the groove position engaging this one pin shifts one side. This pushes the pin aside, sliding the fork. This engages the first gear. One thing to note here is that when one gear is engaged, the other grooves make sure that forks are in position of this engagement from the other gear sets. The grooves are designed in such a way that, after a specific degree of rotation, gear selected earlier disengages followed by the engagement of next consecutive gear selected. The same pattern follows for downshift. These grooves ensure that, before shifting to another gear, the previously selected gear is disengaged. In some gearboxes, this shaft is eliminated, and the shaft with groove is directly used here. The fork now slides on the grooved shaft. The pins which protruded from outside now protrude from inside. The working remains the same. While we get an added advantage of decrease in weight and space consumption due to reduction of one shaft. This shaft also has some safety mechanisms in it, like recess surfaced with spring-loaded balls to lock the shaft in place, ensuring it doesn't turn due to vibration, loosening the engagement. In motorcycles, there is a claw arm arrangement which does the work of rotating the shaft, which does the work of changing gears, while this same mechanism ensures the locking of the gears. Then there are pneumatics, hydraulics, and electric motors used to rotate the shaft which are electronically controlled in some cars. You can find this in most F1 cars. This is the same mechanism used in semi-automatic and AMTs which are automatic manual transmission with either a torque converter or electronically controlled clutches. The main advantages of sequential gearbox are super fast shifts, lightweight than automatic and manual transmission, compact in size, and easy to control via electronics. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to get notified for future videos. Also make sure you hit the like button and share this video. If having any question or comments, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now I'm signing off and see you guys next week.